Hey, beautiful people. Hello, hello, hello. I hope everyone is having a blessed day. It is a beautiful day again here in North Carolina, Jacksonville, North Carolina, where it's about 70 degrees. And you know what? I'm feeling fine. I'm feeling fine. Glory to God. Let me go ahead and say my grace and I'm going to tell you what I have. And I'm going to go ahead and dig in because you know what? I want to do a little review of... Um, Married at First Sight. How many of you all watch Married at, Fir at First Sight? I want to talk about that, okay? Because <laughs> I know the internet is going. It's bu the internet is buzzing. All right? Amen. Amen. Glory to God. I got great news today, but I'll tell you that uh, probably in another video or towards the end of this video. But I'm going to go ahead and tell you what I have. I have a king crab leg. I have some crawfish, sausage, potatoes, corn, and I believe that is it. And you know. <laughs> I got some Dasani water and I have the Maya lemon on deck as well as some lime. And I am trying this garlic sauce, some new garlic sauce, for the first time. And it is called Chef Shammy Garlic Butter with Parmesan cheese and basil. And this is what it looks like. What I did is I put it in the microwave, actually. This is not what it looks like in the, in the tub here. But I put it in the microwave. And, um... So, I'm just going to try it for the first time. Like I said, I don't know how it tastes. But anyway... Ow! So, how is everyone doing? What have you all been up to? And if you watch Married at First Sight... Can we talk? Married at first sight. I particularly just want to talk about the couple. <clears throat> because the couple, Chris, and what's her name? Oh, my goodness. I can't remember her name right off the bat. I remember it as I tell the story as we talk. This is what I'm going to try for the first time. With the, I mean, well, I'm trying the garlic butter for the first time. That would be sad if I opened this up and there's wasn't nothing in here. But I just see it's a little bit of meat in here. I can already see it. I can already see. And it's at the at the end. See that? It's, it starts right there on down. <laughs> I steam this. Oh, I see the juices. There we go. Well, I want to try. Ooh. It's supposed to come on out, y'all. That whole crab leg. And I'm going to show you what's in it. But let me try it with a little of this. Let me sit this up here on the table. Because that is good. But you all notice that I am going to balance this out with some heart warriors with lemon and lime, okay? I'm going to balance that garlic butter off. With some lemon and lime. Okay. See? Now that if that ain't a rip off Publix. I think this is the first time they ripped me off. There we go. That's the first time they ripped me off. Hey, 
Page. Chris and Page. Let's talk about them, y'all. Chris and Page from Married at First Sight. Chris and Page. <clears throat> oh, that basil is so good in here. That basil. I wouldn't lie to y'all. That basil is outstanding. Mm-hmm. Wow. Look at that. Just a little bit hot warrior. Just a little bit of that garlic butter. But look at that. Y'all see that? y'all I had to get some napkins <laughs> sorry about that right in the middle of the ooh, as soon as I got in the groove of things y'all Chris and Paige but first let me give you a little rundown on Chris and Paige Chris and Paige is the black couple Okay. He is an entrepreneur. So financially, he's doing very well, extremely well. She is a, what is Paige? Paige, oh my goodness, I can't remember what Paige does. But she does have a professional career. But she makes, she doesn't make as much money as he does. Now, you know, first of all, Married at First Sight is where the uh, professionals, they uh, match <clears throat> these couples up who have never seen each other before. Don't know anything about it, about each other. They're really going on paper to match these couples up. Okay, what they tell them doing their interview and so forth, right? You, your family, no one sees the bride or groom. Your family don't see the bride or groom. You don't see your groom or your bride until the day of the wedding. So, you're marrying a stranger. So, you have, I believe, I believe it's seven or eight weeks. They go through different stages. You know, you have the honeymoon. Once you come from the honeymoon, then you have to go and live in your prospective places, whatever city or state that is, and do what married people do. In other words, then comes reality. When you get back from the honeymoon, then you have reality. Paige is, I believe, 26 or something like that, but very mature young lady. Um, <clears throat> she seems to have a Christian-based faith. Okay. And Chris... Chris is, I believe, he's 27 or something like that. Now, keep in mind, I'm just going to say this from my mouth to yours. You know the frontal lobe does not develop until you're 25 years old. Until after 25 years old. Not trying to make mistakes, not trying to make excuses for any of them. But I want to put that disclaimer out there. Now I've heard I'm, I'm I know you all have heard of red flag red flags and stuff like that when you uh, first meet a person because a, a lot of times a person they don't show them true, their true selves <laughs> for a couple of years. Sometimes later, you all. Yeah, I like that too. That's 
Sometimes you think you know a person and you really don't. So let me tell you the gist of their marriage. How it started out, where it is now. And the decision they made moving forward. Or what was made moving forward. Hey, hey, hey. Hey, hey, hey. Hey, hey, hey. <laughs> I love it when the plan comes together. Y'all see how they came out of there? <laughs> yes. Mm-hmm. That was good. Why always why is always the last part? Uh-oh. There's another little leg, but we know ain't much in there. Okay, so let me go ahead and tell the story. And I want, I would like to know at what point would you all have taken action, if you would have taken action anyway. And then after I tell you this, you I'll also give my opinion. <laughs> Y'all know I'm going to do that. I'm going to give my opinion now. Okay? So, they get married. They consummate the wedding night. He actually, they actually have several times throughout the night and the next morning. The next morning he goes, supposed to be, <clears throat> just say he's going to get coffee. He's going to get coffee or something. And she kept looking at her watch, looking at her watch, and they're on their honeymoon. Just got married. And says, wow, you know, he ain't, you know, why didn't he come back? Well, after hours... He finally returned. Upon returning, he sits there in the lobby and tells her he had an anxiety attack. He had an anxiety attack while he was down there to get coffee. From the time he decided to go get coffee and come right back. Hours later, he said he had an anxiety attack. Okay. She comforted him, let him reassured him, let him know everything was okay. Then she, then he told her, you know, you're not really what I'm used to. You're not the kind of uh, woman that I'm used to. And what he was talking about is look, looks wise. <clears throat> Black folks, we have to stop being colorist against our own people. All these different shades of beautiful black skin. Huh. Beautiful skin all around you. Got to stop being colorist. That's crazy. So anyway, of course, how do you think she felt? So when he said that to her, even after that, they got through the hump. They got through the hump. Look at that. Yes. Yes. That's what I like to see. Again, she comforted him. She was ready to dive in. And be a bonus mom or whatever you want to call it. Okay? That's another subject. That's another That's another video in itself when it comes to stepmoms and all that kind of crap. Mmm. 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 -mm. 
Yes, sir. Yes, ma'am. That garlic butter is good. Basil is good. It is got. A, you, I can taste the hint of Parmesan in there. It's garlic butter with uh, Parmesan and basil. Parmesan cheese and basil. Okay, so anyway, so yeah, okay, um, I will, um, I'm going to forgive you on that, you know, let's move forward, try to make this marriage work, we just got married, we have several, several more weeks, you know, let's stay in this game, stay in the game. Then, she dropped, he dropped another bomb. <laughs> My ex-fiance is pregnant. His ex fiance pregnant, y'all. It keeps getting better. The foolery keeps getting better. <clears throat> Again, she consoles him. <laughs> oh, I didn't say that. She got she was pregnant. Then it was. Have you been thinking about? You know, like being with her. Or, yeah, I've been thinking about getting getting with her. You know, I don't want my... I don't want someone else to raise my child. Now, you're married. Oh, by the way, the wife, the, the, the fiancé, the ex-fiancé is six weeks pregnant. So... He been moving and shaking while they were doing that process of married at first sight. Mm-hmm. Yes, it was. Oh, yeah. Yes, it was. He came up in there with a lot. <clears throat> so then it was... <clears throat> After that, she says, okay, let's work it out. We talk. And what a narcissist does, when you catch them in the act, you done hurt their feelings. And then what they're going to do is they're going to try to, they, they string you along. They do the, what I call a, a push and pull with you. A push and pull. I, now it's, Yes, I am in love with my ex-fiance, and I do want to be with her. I don't want this marriage anymore. I want a divorce. So, like I said, first it was, oh, wow, you're not what I'm used to. But I'm going to consummate this marriage several times throughout the night, throughout the honeymoon, and even in the morning. But I'm really not attracted to you. Then it's, oh, my fiancé, she's pregnant. My ex-fiancé. My fiancé my ex -fiance is pregnant, six weeks pregnant. I think I want to be with her. No, I do want to be with her. I love my uh, my fiance and I want to be with my ex fiance. And this, by the way, this uh, this young lady, like I said, is so. And she has a good head on her shoulders. <clears throat> she had a very she has a very good head on her shoulders. So while they were with one of the professionals, the pastor, he says, yeah, he wants to be with his fiance, his ex fiance. Y'all, I hope I no corn in my teeth. And 
Not only do he want to be with her, yes, he do want a divorce. And of course, the pastor asked him all the things that, like, but you consummated the marriage. Not once, but several times. Well, I wish you luck. Okay? <clears throat> What would you all do if you was in a situation like that? <laughs> what would you do if you were in a situation like that? Me? He lost me when he said he's using that attracted to my type. He lost me then. It would have been over. But the pastor did talk to um, both of them. And asked all the pertin pertinent questions and stuff, you know. But this guy... That was just crazy. But let me just say this. Married at First Sight. If you watch Married at First Sight. Speaking of marriage. You know, certain things... When you're in a marriage or committed relationship, it's just certain things that you have to leave behind. You know. And one of those, if you're married, it's like your single friends. It's not saying you give up your single friends, but you don't go bar hopping with your single friends. You know what I'm saying? If your single friends, um, have a significant other, and maybe y'all all, all want to do a date night or something like that, go bowling, go out to dinner or something, that's cool. But when you marry, and this goes for men and women, but when you're married and you're uh, chilling with your single friends, like going on vacation or stuff like that, because a lot of people, they go on vacation with their single friends. I can't go on vacation with my single friends. If I'm committed in a relationship, say Jamaica, I have a friend that loves to travel. And she wanted me to go to Jamaica with her one year. And I was in a committed relationship. And my guy friend asked me, my uh, guy at the, at the time, he asked me, well, G, he asked me at the time, he said, <clears throat> would, you want to, want to go, would you want me to go to Jamaica with you or something like that? And I said, we were new in our relationship, you know. <laughs> I said, I don't, I'm single. I don't take sand to the beach. You know, in other words, if you go to Jamaica, if I went to Jamaica, I'm not going there to just sit there and read a book. I'm going where I may meet, may meet Dexter, you know. I'm young and free and single. But now, excuse me, if there's couples that want to go to Jamaica or something like that, yes, by all means, let's go, darling, let's go. I'm, I'm good with that. We're going to go together. I don't need to be going there by myself. I, tell me. I'm letting you know I don't need to be going there by myself. Now, you tell me if you need to be going there by yourself. Okay? Now... You know, you have all type of marriages, and trust me, I am not judging anyone. We just having a conversation, right? Can we talk? <clears throat> Excuse me, one second.
Like I say, I'm not judging. I'm not judging. We're just having a conversation, a friendly conversation, a chat, right? But when you, you know, there are different people are, you know, when, when those, those, <clears throat> when you look outside in your neighborhood, okay, and you see those doors, doors closed, you don't know what's going on behind those closed doors. And you know what? It's none of your business, right? It's like it's none of my business. The only door closed that I'm worried about is where I reside. You understand what I'm saying? All right. Well, Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Some people have open marriages to where they want to date other people. Some have rules, some don't. Some marriages, you have people sleeping in separate rooms. And it's not, you know, a lot of times it could be maybe that person, you know, snores really bad or or something like that. But I'm ta I'm referring to just, you know, when you not, when you know that the marriage is over, you don't want to work on the marriage anymore and you separate, you know, you, your room and, 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 and me, my room. Though, you, you know, when you have things like that, you're really setting yourself up for failure because your marriage is bound to fail if you continue those type of things, you know. And in an open relationship, anytime you bring someone into your marital bed, let me just say marital bed, okay? Anytime you bring someone into your marital bed, know, know that you risk a lot. You risk a lot. You risk a lot of um, maybe your partner falling in love or falling for that other person more than you. You just risk so many things. And then, you got it, they're going to sneak and creep, you know? And cheating. All these things, like open marriages, cheating, um, you know, hanging with your single friends when you're in a committed relationship, stuff like that. You know those single friends I'm talking about. Come on, man. Come on, man. You know, uh, meet me over here at the bar. No, nah, man. <laughs> a friend is not going to put you in a situation like that. But I'm going to tell you, misery loves company. People will try to do it, so you just have to be careful. But, uh, like I said, no judgment here. Because I love the life I live, and I live the life I love, okay? No judgment here. We're just having a discussion. And, you know, because... <clears throat> when you talk about these different... You, have you seen the show Temptation Island? Temptation Island is a group of... There's four couples, well, several couples, I can't remember how many, exactly how many, but there's several couples, they all go to this beautiful island, Temptation Island, but then there's a whole group of singles, single people, uh, female and male. They are there to find love with the couples that came there with their mates. And, woo, Temptation. Don't be tempted. Don't be tempted, especially if you know that you got something good at home. Sometimes the grass is not always greener on the other side. Because 
when infidelity and those things happen in a marriage, <clears throat> whatever happens to break the trust in a marriage, it's kind of hard to get it back. Ladies, know your self-worth. Queens, know your self-worth. Kings, know your self-worth. <laughs> I guess you could say that's pretty much the moral of the story, right? But mine, I do have a question for you before I leave. I should have two questions for you. What would you do What extreme would you go to to save your marriage or relationship? What extreme would you go to save your marriage or relationship? And the second and last question is, what extreme would you go to test your marriage or your relationship? This is a big one. It's a big one, y'all. It's a big one, y'all. Remember, it's February it's still. Heart health in February, you all. Make sure you wear red. Or let me see a little red wherever you at. See? Little background. <laughs> Make sure you wear red for the month of February for the girl and millions of other women out here that is fighting heart disease. I appreciate you and you know. I love you for free. Sincerely, I do. Y'all go ahead and tell me what you think down in the comments down in the comments down below. And I hope that you checked out those um, channels that um, the shout outs that I gave the other day as well were with um, Is Kashmir with a K and have another one um uh, neo kirch baby neo kirch baby n-e-o-k-i-r-c-h baby and i love a little comedy i always love a little comedy uh there's people that do reaction videos and i really like to watch their reactions on these videos and stuff one guy is carlos king carlos king c-a-r-l-u-s king and i always refer to the brother as a young king because um he does the doggone thing go check out it's Kashmir. go check out Carlos, <clears throat> C-A-R-L-U-S, King, and I tell you the best uh, spicy challenge, hot challenge of all times, according to in my book, is the one done by Dre underscore O-G. I think that's how it is, Dre underscore O-G, reacts or something like that. He does reactions on different videos, but also he did the spicy uh, challenge the way he had the spicy noodles, the um, the hot chip. The guy had to go to the he had to go to the bathtub. Everything he did <laughs> with his clothes on, but it was the funniest funniest one that I've ever seen thus far. But I want to go ahead and I want to just thank you all. Thank you so, so much for watching. And if you're new to my channel, mm, I appreciate you. If you have subscribed, you are known as 
Fly Beautifully Fam. Short for family. Don't forget to comment, like, subscribe, and share, 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 share. Let them know what the girl is out here doing, trying to make a difference. You know, all I want to do is just put the smile on your face. Because, you know what? Because God is good. You see that? God is good. Yes, he is. And he's good all the time. You should call on him. Hmm. Y'all stay blessed.